I want to introduce another man. This man also worked for FBI, and he's an FBI veteran. And this guy's name is Richard Frankel. So when CCP is looking to take down the number one enemy of the totalitarian regime, they're going to resort to a lot of people, not just the one person, you know, the head of FBI, not just the one person, the head of the DOJ, not just one person, the head of SEC. They're going to actually recruit multiple people, and they're going to have multiple plans to executing at the same time and to see who actually can successful, who actually can be successful. That is why I want people to, to people know when they destroy your election system, they never just picking one side. They always picking both sides. You have a multiple plans to put in place. Just hope, uh, hopefully, they can. You know, they get an insurance plan, double down and triple down. If this one doesn't win, Plan A doesn't pan out. Plan B works. Plan C works. Plan D works. So here they had a Richard Franco. Richard Franco was the former special agent in charge. Of the FBI network division, so basically he's a head of the Newark area. So prior to his retirement in 2015, so Miles Gore, in his previous whistleblowing, told us he was personally being approached by the CCP's proxies. CCP paid him 20 million dollars, ask him to drop Miles Gore as a client because he is the partner. He was a partner for a security firm who provided security services to Miles Gore in New York. Okay, so that's the relationship. So after he retired from FBI, he became a、uh, partner in a security firm which took on Miles Gore as a client. It's very similar to Christopher Ray story. Christopher Ray was working for Miles Gore until CCP knocking on the door. He dropped Miles Gore as a client. Same here. So Richard Franco was a partner of the security firm until he was paid by the CCP twenty million dollars bribery. Okay, and then he dropped Miles Gore as. You know,、uh, he basically—I don't know whether the the firm dropped Miles Gore or not, but he left. Maybe he left the, the secure security firm.